What's up guys, that really ghost guy here and I am back showing off some of these Warframe themes and starting right off we have our Frost and this is an elemental build that I did. Uh, each weapon has a different element and of course Frost being able to use his abilities covers the fourth and last element. But uh, we'll move right on over and I will show you the setup. Um, basically what he has set up for himself is the buzz lock which I have set up with the fire element which is pretty cool because of its ability to track or trace an enemy and then be able to shoot around corners and whatnot which is pretty cool uh, and then the second is the haiku primes which I have set up with the poison element and that's pretty cool uh, I like to think of it as the fact that it does its puncture um, and it kind of has like its injection style for the poison kind of kind of just a cool feel to it and then the Sindo last with the electric ability also has the sweet skin uh, that that uh, I think looks pretty cool and there's a little bit of electric pulsating throughout it which is pretty sweet and of course like I said frost with his frost element uh, the ice comes in as the fourth and final element pretty cool and the skin on him as well I believe is the uh, festive skin and looks great with the different color combinations next up of course is frost prime and sticking with the theme I went with the white and gold and uh, like I said in the last video uh, some of these I haven't really touched in a little while so uh, his color on his vest um, must be coming from a different yellow uh, uh, tile set uh, in the in the color scheme so that's a little bit off which will have to be fixed um, I couldn't really tell when I first opened up because there's not really too much of difference when he's under the light but you can definitely see it otherwise but yeah this one is set up to be purely frost uh, of course frost prime with his abilities the Galaxion which of course has its cold uh, rays of awesomeness that come out of it. Uh, the Dex Furious coming up with um, with white and gold as well as of course the frost element uh, looks pretty cool especially on frost it's a really I don't know something something about it uh, just just does it for me and then finally his melee being the Tanbo which is pretty sweet especially in the white and gold it just I don't know it just works uh, I feel like this is just a great setup for frost prime and uh, as tanky as he is, it's just it's just fun running about, just slicing things apart and using those uh, Dex Furious to destroy the enemy. And going alphabetically, we arrive at Hydroid, and this I think is probably one of my favorite cosmetically designed Warframes. Um, and a lot of people are not big fans of Hydroid, um, and. I just think I just think he looks really great, especially if you get the uh, the Grenier uh, style uh, cosmetics, uh, and then you put them on him. They almost look like like coral, like uh, they've been growing off of him, like he's been uh, uh, left underwater for like a really significant amount of time, and like coral started to grow on him. Uh, it looks great, especially with this almost swampy uh, color scheme I have going with him, the the aqua blue and the green seaweed color and then the gray almost like bare bottom of the ocean kind of kind of feel uh he's running the boltor which is pretty cool with his puncture almost like a uh one of those pin cushion uh type of fishy things i forgot what they call those darn things but then the kraken of course uh by name just just totally makes sense and then the nami skyla the pirate type weapons which just just match just match kind of his his theme going on and definitely a cool uh, Warframe and honestly I use this Warframe quite a bit when I first got him so here I move into actually a second hydroid uh, theme which I kind of have I haven't really played this one too much but um, he definitely has a very aggressive and very tyrannical feel to him uh, he's using the Necros animation, which uh, you've seen previously on the Excalibur, and it's just, it looks intimidating. Uh, but yeah, Hydroid's sitting here with this sweet Gorgon Wraith, which I have in the Day of the Dead skin, which uh, allows for some cool customization with the red, white, and black. 
uh, definitely looking pretty cool, especially the way he holds it with the Necrosis animation. Um, followed up after that with the Bolto. Um, pretty simple, not necessarily meant to be um, like strong, but uh, definitely goes with the feel, almost like a sidearm for this tyrannical looking uh, beast. And then the Tepeto, uh or the Tipito, depending on how you pronounce it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely like a intimidating feel. Like I could imagine him, you know, kind of standing there and you know, someone coming up to him and being like, like, you want to go? And he just like pulls the Tepeto out from his back and just readies up and is like, you better, you better be able to get to me before I can stab you with my Tepeto. And now moving away from the intimidating and like in your face look, we now have Evara, which I have set up to be one heck of a cool uh, theme. In my opinion, I kind of have this based on a rogue, uh, kind of like I could see her like sprinting through the forest, but like from from tree branch to tree branch with her bow, her uh, rock to Serenos, all ready and drawn, ready to just put an arrow in the back of your head and hunt you down. This is just such a sweet look, uh, especially with the color scheme. It just like like you could barely see like her her flying through the trees at night or something like that you can see like a small essence of the blue or the purple and you just you just know that there's no way there's no way you're gonna get out of here alive um but yeah the rock to sereno is followed up by the talons and the serata um i have this set up specifically this way to emphasize her ability to take control of her last projectile um and that's why I have set up with the bow, of course, and then with the talons, I can now throw around corners and whatnot, being an explosive style uh, uh, throwing knife. And then the serrata, of course, just like the glaive, something you can throw and being able to be controlled is just so cool. Definitely a sweet feel to her and a very predator style of uh, gameplay. Next up is a Warframe that I've shown pretty recently. This is my Limbo and uh, pretty goofy being in its pink. Uh, color scheme um, but now with these new uh, I think those are Porta uh, cosmetics uh, set up and I think it just looks great it's one of the only Warframes that I think this one is like absolutely like meant to be placed on um, and I kind of have that cool Cephalon uh, regalia set up right in the heart of his Porta in the front and uh, I feel like the pink just kind of, I don't know, it kind of suits him for whatever reason. It's kind of funny, but he's rocking the Burst of Prime, Burstin Prime uh, with his three-shot capabilities. The Nucor, which has this cool, like, um, like warpy feel to it. I guess what you would say is his ability to kind of control, like, the Void itself, uh, I suppose, is kind of his ability set. Um, and then lastly, the Ether Sword, which you've seen before on my Ash Prime, but this one's set up in its pink coloration and almost has that same feel. Like it has this, uh, uh, it's encapsulating almost the, the void inside of itself or something like that. I like to think he's kind of a manipulator of like the time and space kind of in a way. So definitely a really cool theme that I, uh, I do definitely enjoy this Limbo build. So next up is probably the first Warframe that I had completely set up as a theme that I wanted it to be. And uh, Loki I got really early on in the game and uh, I set him up to be quite literally stealth oriented and of course Loki is a stealth oriented frame but I, what I would do with this Loki is I would go into a extermination and 100% I would take down every enemy in the game as best as I could without setting off in a single alarm. Kind of had fun doing that. Something to uh, to get you away from the regular gameplay. If you're having tough uh, or you just really grind heavy days or whatever and you want to kind of do something a little bit fa fun or challenge yourself, um, this is something you can do. And what I did is I set up Loki with the Paris totally silent, the Kunai is also silent, and of course the Kestrel being able to be thrown, taken out enemies from afar. Um, but yeah, completely set up so that I can go invisible or I can, uh, you know, stealth around corners and whatnot and just take down enemies left and right without setting off a single alarm. 
And here we have Loki Prime, and this is one of my more try-hard builds. Um, I don't think I have any formas into them at the moment. I definitely could use some more forma. But uh, basically I have them to set up some of the more difficult spy missions. And uh, usually I'll go into uh, like a four-player mission with some other players. And I'm not necessarily geared towards... Um, to, to damage output even though he does have the bolter prime and it is pretty good um, I just basically hold my own and then I kind of designate uh, or have been designated as like a reviver or in survival um, I can shoot way out and grab any oxygen things that uh, maybe other players can't get to um, very quickly and there have been a lot of times where I can just go invisible or uh, irradiate disarm and be able to get to places within seconds of you know uh, mission failure or whatnot with this Loki uh, because he can do the damage output allows me to clear a path if uh, I, I deem it necessary uh, as well as the X stilettos are not necessarily the strongest but the Cronin especially in its sliding attack is just being able to take down enemies like crazy so this is definitely one of my more try hard builds and i have so much fun playing loki i play him all the time and here we have mag which in my opinion is probably one of the most underestimated warframes of all time and of, of all time <laughs> not like it's been around for millions of years but uh anyways uh I, I, I tend not to use mag too much, however every time I do I find myself with a smile across my face. I, this, it's just such a fun, a fun Warframe to use. Um, but I have this mag set up uh, that I got pretty early on, just like some of my, uh, the other ones you've seen. But um, I have her set up with the correct and uh, kind of, uh, I wish, I wish DE would do a little bit of an overhaul on the correct because I think it needs a little bit more of a boost. Um, pretty pretty cool weapon, just uh, doesn't have a lot of ammo capacity and doesn't quite do enough for me. But um, she also is using the Twin Vipers, which are pretty cool, just kind of fits her running gun theme, which I have going on. And then the Orthos being just a great weapon. Um, and I mean, a little bit, be, being the base model is not quite as strong as it could be, but it just, I don't know, it just works for her. It's a lot of fun playing this setup exactly how it is. Alright, so next up of course we have Mag Prime, and being a magnetic or like a gravity style frame, um, I have her set up with this sweet sand on it, by the way, but um, she's also in the white and gold uh, prime kind of uh, theme, and she's rocking the Simulor, which is, of course, has that like gravity feel to it that... Uh, that suction that be able, it, you know pulls the enemies in uh, when you get that uh, get the uh, bullets able to proc each other. Um, then the Comac, which is the cool automatic shotgun, which is just a cool sidearm for her. Um, not doesn't necessarily fit her theme entirely, but nothing quite does in a way. Um, and then the dual Raza is just kind of an in-your-face, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, melee attack for her, and uh, because she's a pretty agile and quick frame, able to pull the enemies in towards her, um, the ability to just go to town on them um, after maybe you know blasting them with a few rounds is just pretty cool. Definitely a fun frame, like I said. Um, I think is a little bit underestimated, but uh, definitely can hold her own in pretty much any type of mission. All right, so here we go. Personally, one of my favorite Warframes in the game. Um, probably at least at the, for the time being is my favorite Warframe to actually use. Mesa is just a powerhouse and just oh, she's so she's so fun to use. Uh, a lot of people give Mesa a little bit of hate for either she is too OP or whatnot. Um, but I, f I feel like she's she's pretty balanced. Um, of course, people spamming for you know her ultimate kind of kind of gave her a bad name and uh after they nerfed it i think in a way is a buff because i was sick of using four and having her shoot at um you know the little plebs instead of the guys that i really wanted her to hit so the the fact that i can now focus in on a certain area and actually hit some of the bigger and bulkier targets was just great i was so happy when they did that i do want to show you two other color schemes because these are these are cool i just oh, i 
I really love this one that I've come up with, the real dark and the orange and the, uh, the real light, the light orange, uh, just so cool. Um, but anyways, fanboy aside, she's rocking the Grinlock, which goes so well with her first ability. Um, and it kind of just suits suits the way she looks. Uh, the Ekvasto, um, kind of rocking um, next to her almost built-in uh, firearms. I like to think that in her Peacemaker, maybe she pulls out all four, you know, and is able to, like, just go to town. Because she fires so many rounds in a second, I mean... You know, just just that firepower, and then the Fang kind of being like uh, like an assassin type. So she's kind of like a like a hit girl, uh, I guess if you want to call her. Uh, she's very powerful, and like I said, she can put down pretty much anything in one shot if you uh, if you know how to use her. So following uh, Mesa is Mirage, and I like to think of her as kind of a prankster. Uh, with her with her first ability making copies of herself and the disco ball that everyone calls at the very end um, And the the sleight of hand and all that stuff just makes her kind of like a troll frame um, While she doesn't necessarily like troll other people It's almost like she's trolling the enemies the whole time and I just love that about Mirage um, So I have her basically set up in this pretty cool color scheme. I think um I'll show you actually I have a second one coming up here in a second which is a different color scheme and whatnot but uh, I have a rock in the Sybaris a cool lever action uh, rifle which shoots two rounds and that kind of has like a I feel like it's kind of a kind of a joke type weapon it's kind of like you know she puts puts the rifle at you and fires off two rounds it's almost I don't know it's just something about it is just you know funny um, and then the Piranha, which is pretty cool, being a shotgun pistol is almost like something she could whip out when she, you know, walks right up to your face and just blows you away. Pretty cool weapon. And then the Jakitag, and that is just like a knockdown troll weapon, but it's just, it's powerful in its own right. And uh, it's just so fun, especially when melees used to allow you tra to traverse so much faster. It used to be such a cool weapon to just, you know go to town and fly across the map and just like slam your enemies into into nothing all right guys so this is my second mirage setup and i can't necessarily take credit for the theme itself uh her color scheme because i mean it's harley quinn almost almost everyone that's had a mirage and has gotten this helmet has been has themed her as harley quinn and uh definitely a cool a cool idea and I, I like I said I can't take credit for this exactly um, but I do have her rock in the festive version of the uh, of the alternate color skin uh, which is pretty cool it gives her a little bit of extra color uh, she's rocking the Tonkor kind of doing the troll thing as well especially when you uh, use her first ability and you can just launch grenade after grenade towards the enemy it's just pretty cool and then the spear is uh, just a really cool uh, throwing knife and kind of kind of deadly you know kind of matches uh, Harley Quinn you know of course being the, in the comic uh, and then the Ankaros kind of a in your face uh, beat you pummel you to death kind of weapon and uh, especially the way the uh, the Spiras come out you kind of use the Spiras with the the Ankaros on your wrist just looks so badass to me and uh, definitely a cool theme and definitely have a lot of fun using her and so there we have it, giving you guys a little bit of sneak peek at the next Warframe coming up in the next video. I'm going to have to cut this one here, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, it would be awesome for a like, uh, if, and if you want to see some more, subscribe. That would be great. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and until we get to part three to show off uh, our next set, uh, hope to see you guys again soon.